Well, we have only managed to do it. We have got a Bianchi in the garage. I've been after one of these for some time. Super excited about this bicycle. But before we get onto that, let's talk a little bit about the history of Bianchi. I will keep this brief. All started in 1885, and they are the oldest bicycle company in the world with 130 years of experience. They pioneered the bicycle with equal size wheels, and they generally paint all their bicycles in this celeste green unless it's red occasionally but ours is in this beautiful green it's columbus slx tubing and it was kindly donated by mitch who we did the secret bicycle collection i had to share great video unbelievable bikes and mitch is a super nice guy so big thanks to him managed to get one on the stand and I'm going to make this my personal ride. So I'm going to give this my all. I'm going to upgrade basically the group set. It's got a lovely Campagnolo Mirage group set on. But as I say, I do have no group set available to me. Um, we're going to change the saddle. It's ripped at the back and I'm just going to calm it down a little bit regards to the colours. I'm going to change the tyres and we've got another water bottle case to find as well and some water bottles as well uh, but yes i can't wait to get stuck into this so as we do with all these builds restorations we strip these bikes down so what are we waiting for let's crack on and get a move on with that <laughs> Brilliant. Well, there's the frame all stripped down. It wasn't any hassle at all until we came to the end on this bottom bracket. Yes, it's an Italian frame and it's anti-clockwise sundew, but I don't think it's actually ever been taken out since the bike was made. So it was seized in there and I have not had my Weetabix today. So yes, this was a little struggle. It is slightly rusty in the cup itself. So I'm really happy that I've stripped the bike down to give it a closer inspection. We've also got a bit of rust here on this seat post stay. Um, so yes, I'm going to be polishing and treating the rust on the frame. We've got some tires to find. We've also got to find the group set somewhere. It is in here, um, but we've put all the rest of the group set down there as we generally do. As you take things off, put things back on, you know the drill. So yes, we've got plenty to be getting on with. So let's get a move on with that. After rubbing the frame down and seeing some uneven paintwork, I decided to pick away and discover quite a bit of rust on the frame itself. I also suspect that the paint has been removed from the chrome forks. This is a little dull and not as shiny as what it would normally be finished. So what I've decided to do, like some of our other frames, is send this off to MR Creations to let our good friend Mark work his magic and bring this frame back like new. I could listen to that all day long. Absolutely beautiful wheel set. We've changed them over. We've got uh, Campagnolo rims and also hubs. And we've got these Victoria Corsa Gunwall graphene tyres. These are beautiful and great to ride on. So I can't wait to get these on the frame. 
I've got the frame back from Mark, it looks like new and I'm so glad we have decided to have the frame repainted and to have it all corrected. It looks amazing. So can't thank Mark enough from MR Creations. We've used him before on other projects like the Gazella, the Rally Banana and many others. So yes, Mark was very highly recommended. The frame itself, well that's all dressed. We've got the bottom bracket in. We've also got the headset in. Um, and yeah, so that's all ready to accept the group set. I'll get to that in a minute. Uh, we've also put a clear chainstay protector on to protect the chain. I didn't want to actually put a uh, silver one on because of the Bianchi logo on here. And if you've noticed, we've also managed to locate that matching water bottle. I've got two water bottles to find though now. Uh, but yes, these restorations should come with a financial warning because that cage has cost me a fortune. So, what else have we got? Well, I've managed to find a saddle. We've got a black roll saddle. This is going to need dyeing though, so I'm going to be getting on with that in a minute. But you can't go wrong with a roll, so that should look really well. And I've also, um, I'm going to change the handlebar stem. Wasn't too keen on the existing 3T one, um, and this one is slightly longer. So we've got a brand spanking new handlebar stem as well to go on. The group set, well, yes, I've managed to locate it. It is just on the side there, but you will have to wait until the build for that one. So hang on tight because we are nearly there. Well, very excited indeed. We've arrived at the rebuild. We haven't had to do too much with this restoration. As I say, it's, uh, we've had Mark do the actual frame itself. We've had the group set all ready. So it's been more of a puzzle about putting all the parts together. The group set, well, that's the Campagnolo C record group set. I did say we were going full out on this one. So top of the range group set. We've got the saddle that's been stained and that looks fantastic, looks like new. And we've got the handlebars wrapped. So we've gone from downshifters to the actual Egro levers. So yes, I'm hoping it's going to make a great ride indeed. The calipers, well, I've actually upgraded as well with them. I did say there's going to be no bars hole with this one and we've actually managed to locate a couple of very nice deltas. So yes, we're going to be putting these deltas on. I can't wait to get these on to see what these look like. We've also got a couple of water bottles. So yes, we're all ready to go. The frames are all dressed, the wheels are ready, the group set, it's begging to be put back together. We've also got our blue gloves at the ready. So let's crack on and get this Bianchi back together. Brilliant. Well, the church bells are ringing and what a celebration. This Italian Bianchi looks 
absolutely stunning and I cannot wait to get it out for a ride to hang around for that because we certainly will be taking this bike out for a proper ride. We finish the builds off with a water bottle or in this case we've got a couple, I've got them tussed down here, a couple of Bianchi ones, retro as well so very in keeping, let's pop them in and have a look. Brilliant, the finishing touch. The bike looks absolutely stunning. It was a little bit fiddly with the delta brakes, but they are beautiful. So all that's left soon now, uh, I think it's quite right as well, is to get changed. Brilliant. Well, we've got the matching kit to go with the bike. We've even got some Bianchi glasses as well to match. So let's celebrate. Let's get this bike out and try it out. I can't wait. has been the Bianchi SLX with the full Campagnolo C record group set. We have really upgraded this bike and it is such a dream to ride. A big thanks to Mix for donating the bike and making this possible and also to Mark from MR Creations who's done the paintwork. It's like a brand new bike and it's one I will definitely be keeping in my own personal collection just like to thank you for watching i hope it inspires you to recycle the old bicycle and keep these beautiful bikes alive for future generations thanks so much for watching bye for now <laughs>